Now it's David. Okay, so once again, this is David making a face vase. David. Our teacher. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and talk. Instructor. Okay, go ahead once and talk. Once upon a time, there was a, a pot named David. <laughs> and he was a happy little pot. And he liked to eat. Yeah. And the bigger, the older he got, the bigger he got. So one hand is always higher than the other. Yeah. Let's let's talk about this as we go. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to make this, or do you yes. want me to talk? Both. Well, um, I did the. I opened with my palm, and I set the thickness of the bottom, and I set the diameter of the bottom, and then I pull the clay up. And then I did the second pull with my knuckle on the outside like this, and my inside hand like this, and coming up, and my thumb out so that my hand could be against the side, turned out like that as I'm coming up, not in like this. That is exactly the way that thumb was over there, just on the surface. <laughs> over here. See. <laughs> And if I need to change the diameter of the top, or if the top gets off center or anything, I can use the right hand for support and the left thumb to compress, to recenter it, or to change the diameter of the top. Look at that. And then I use this rib. This is the large version of that rib that I designed. And I trim the bottom neat and then use the rib to pull, and so I hold the rib with my middle finger, the tip of my middle finger, which is pulling it into my hand, and my other fingers are pushing away. So it's, it, this finger is pulling in, and my thumb and forefinger and the other two fingers are pushing away, and that gives me the ability to put a lot of force with the rib against the pot, and then I can also pivot, turn the rib out, using it for shaping. So now, um, come around on the right-hand side so you can see what I'm doing with the tool. Just walk around this way, the other way. Okay, so I'm pushing in with the corner of the rib down here, behind my ring finger, at the bottom, against my finger on the inside. And then my inside hand is coming up to the top, and then I'm going to bring them up together like that. And this is thinning out the clay. About how thin? Because um, you got to make a face. Well, it is, it is that thick right down here. Where are you? Right down there. Oh. Okay, that's how thick it is. And well, and it's about, that's a little more, and that's how thick it is at the top, so. All right, so now to make a face out of it. So I'll start with the nose because that's the part that projects out the most, and I'm rubbing from the Could inside. Could you take this away from me, please? Go ahead. So I'm rubbing up and down from the inside to stretch that out. That will be the nose. Okay. <laughs> And then I, then I use my fingers on either side of the, what's going to be the top of the nose here, and I push in, and my fingers on the inside supporting, so that creates the brow and the eye socket, like that, and shape the bridge of the nose and the eyes. I push out from the inside and establish the lower contour of the eyeball. Can you see that? Yes. And then I use my thumbnail to establish the upper lid, wiping across like that. Oh my goodness. And then I do the same on the other side. Push out for the... To make the eyeball. Okay. And then my, my thumbnail going across the eyeball to create the lid. And then I'll use my little finger to create the pupil and the iris in there to give... Looking at you. 
And then uh, I'll define the sides of the nose, the underside of the nose, create the indentations for the for the uh, nostrils. nostrils and the wings of the nose, and then the mouth. <laughs> this is the prize fighter, right, David? Yeah. Broken nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's had a rough life. Oh. Lines. And so I do all of this pretty quick where the clay is very soft. And um, and then if I'm going to, if I, I can come back later and, and develop it more if I want to put more detail into it, make it look more like a particular person, you know, rather than being kind of a caricature. Okay, how about giving it a mustache? Uh, a little mustache. And then I'll do ears like this. So between the top of the right. ears and the, the bottom, bottom of the, of the ears, nose. and then push out and then in. And the jawline. Jeez. And then for hair, if he's going to have hair, then I'll do some kind of a texturing. And then stretch it out. Make the back of his head. Curl the top in. Create the hairline across the front. What player are you using? Sold it. So it's not good to use B-Mix with this? It's, you've got to be a firmer clay? Well, if it, you know, firmer clay lets me stretch it out more, but you can use whatever. B-Mix is fine. You just got to pay attention to it. There he is. I'm just trying to make cups. <laughs> That's a big cup. All of this was made in three minutes. Yeah. Seven minutes and 52 seconds to make that. This is not the first one he's done. No. Right. Not the first one he's done. And then I usually, when I was making them to sell, um, I would sell them as vases, but, or I would sell them as cookie jars. And so I would make a, a hat Cute. for a lid. And what difference would you do if you were making a woman? Well, less mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and, and less wrinkles. <laughs> that's the yeah, that's the main difference. <laughs> And then I'll, sometimes I'll do hair like this where I'll actually kind of cut into it. Yeah, like Bart Simpson. Make some balls like that last year. Oh, now it looks like a king. 